Hello everyone. Today I would like to introduce how we implement ODI package to insert data into a database instance from object storage. Before we go to detail implementation, I would like to talk about the uh, repair, how we repair environment. Uh, to uh, implement ODI package, we We need uh, a one virtual machine with uh, Oracle Linux uh, uh, operating system version 7 or higher and install ODI Studio version 12 by 2 by 1 by 3 or higher version because these versions support Earth work on Oracle Cloud services. For example, um, Oracle Object Storage or uh, Autonomous Data Warehouse and Java development case should be a version 1.8.0 uh, you also make sure a uh, revision ADW instance and download ADW reentry file to your uh, environment so uh, next I would like to talk about a little bit uh, uh, basic architecture we are going to use the ODI product to upload uh, local raw data files to Uptrace storage and then we importing data into uh, autonomous data warehouse and uh, in next next step you you can use the uh, Oracle Arctic Cloud Enterprise or uh, desktop uh, visualization desktop uh, tool to uh, uh, visualize or analytic data. Okay, now um, I connect to my uh, virtual machine and. Um, verify the Java version and also ODI Studio to make sure um, the environment is uh, correct before we implement the ODI package. Okay. As you see, uh, Java version uh, is uh, 1.8 by 0 and also ODI version 0.1 by 4 and Java platform everything is okay and now I will talk about the data flow that we that we element, element ODI package. Uh, step one, we write a private key and public key. Uh, we use the private key and public key to connect um, ODI to uh, Oracle object storage. Step two, we upload the public key that we generate in step one to Oracle Cloud. Step three, we create a staging table in AW instance. Step four, we create a connection to AW instance in ODI. Step five, we create a connection to Oracle Object Storage in ODI. Step six, we create a model for AW instance and a model for Object Storage. And Step 7, we write a demo IDP project and the last step, we write a mapping between file that uh, which is applied to object storage and staging table. Now I open the ODI Studio and connect to repository. However, before we implement the ODI package, or uh, we create a connection to um, object storage, um, we need to the private key and public key as well.
So uh, I go through that step for uh, how we write a private key, a public key. Uh, step one, uh, you should make the uh, grade folder. For example, uh, in my environment, I create the API key folder under uh, Home and Oracle folder, and I browse to the API key. Step two, I use uh, open NSL uh, command line to generate a private key. Step three, I create a public key by command line. And step four, I generate a fingerprint. Also, you open NSL. Be aware of uh, step two uh, when you create a private key. It will require you enter the password. You should remember that that you enter the password for a private key because uh, when we create a connection to uh, uh, object storage, it will re it will uh, require the password for a private key. I will explain in next step. Okay, after I uh, generate um, uh, private key and public key, they are located in my uh, local folder, home, Oracle, ABI key. And I also uh, uh, keep the password for private key in here. Okay, now I come go back to ODI Studio and go to topology and I will write a connection to IDW as well. To write a connection um, to IDW instant is, is quite simple. You just uh, uh, provide the, the IDW user password and the connection to a redensor file. And when you go to JDBC, um, you extract, extract the uh, redensor file and copy the connection string in the NS name file here. And also uh, make sure that um, we configure a wallet location and SSL configuration here. In my environment, I after I download the Redensor file, I locate in uh, it in the home Oracle wallet. So uh, for configuration wallet location, I point to the wallet folder. Okay, and then I connection so right the connection is a set phone and now I relay the connection to Oracle object storage click on a new data server to create new and I will enter a uh, uh, object story. When you read a connection to object story, uh, we uh, must provide uh, a lot of information. Uh, you, hear, you see general information for region, tenants, um, information and user information. I will provide you how to get the information. And the next is security. We should provide a private key, password for rabbit key, and fingerprint that you generate in reverse step. And the last section, you need to provide the connection to object storage, username, token and tenant name. Uh, 
um, after you generate the uh, uh, private key and public key, uh, you need to upload the public key to Oracle Cloud. How we do that? Uh, we need to log into Oracle Cloud and go to uh, user setting, user setting, and go to API key, and we click on add public key and you browse to the uh, public key that uh, you generate in reverse step. Okay, now I will uh, uh, introduce how we get information for our collection and to Oracle Object Storage region. It means that uh, region identifier, for example, in my uh, environment, I stay at the US is so my region identifier should be here and I also go to detail pay up region and I see tenancy OCID here let's just copy and pass to correction and user ID I also go to the user setting and I get the user OCID here Just copy and put information. After you get all the information um, from the Oracle Cloud, so you see um, the question information like that. So next we try to test question to make sure uh, we connect to um, Oracle storage successfully. Okay, Okay. And at least connection. Okay. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, you say that region is not valid so you should uh, double check and view uh, correct information for region identifier after I correct region identifier I try test connection now it's working also I Create a new physical schema. To create a physical schema for uh, object storage, you need to create a bucket in uh, Oracle object storage. So after you finish create a physical schema, you go to uh, logical architecture and we create a logical schema for uh, object storage. Okay. Story. And I select the physical schema as well. After I finish read the connection to uh, pull uh, ADP instance and Oracle object storage, now I uh, go to designer area to create the model and project. Demo object storage 
and I click to grow a new model. Uh, in my tutorial, I will upload um, a customer file to object or storage, and then I will I go into import uh, the customer data file to the IDW instance. So I will write a model for customer. Customer and technology I select or Oracle object storage and logical schema should be demo object storage here. And uh, let's step. And now I read a new data store. It's customer. Customer. Oracle object storage support. Um, and we will um, uh, we will import data from Oracle object storage to IDW instance. So um, it supports us uh, some um, some uh, format uh, data format. For example, we can uh, configure AVR fish are uh, delimited. So in my tutorial, I will select delimited. And I put the header to ignore the first row. I select units because my data file is generated in units environment, uh, units, uh, units environment, and the column delimiter is the column bar. Okay. Um, because um. In Oracle Object Storage, I uh, have not uploaded the file, the customer file, so uh, I will add manually the, the metadata for customer ID. It should be string now. The number. It should be. At where? And next column A customer name string one hundred character and the last column. email as well okay and now let's say I also read a new model for um, IDW to connect uh, a staging table so now I I try to turn K the data uh, sorry, I'm going to write a staging table in IDW instance. Okay, and I verify. The table is empty. In my environment, I have also demo IDP project. So uh, next step, I just need a new folder demo object storage. 
store it. So I write new mapping plus staging custom form object story. Okay. And I drop and drop customer also stays in table now and by default I keep by default okay make sure customer we need Customer, <laughs> you know, because I just type incorrect uh, a column name, so maybe it cannot be a link to the staging table. Okay, so I go back the customer name and I correct. Okay. Okay. Yep. I go to physics. I go to loading knowledge module. And you should um, make sure a lot of knowledge model should be LKM object storage to a WC copy and destination iteration. You should be IKM Oracle Insert Global. I also turn on delete data because I am loading uh, data in your staging table instead. Now I write a new package. Customer. And I will give the common and ODI object storage to upload the local data file to object storage. ODI, ODI object storage upload component require, um, require the connection to um, Oracle object storage and the, the connection to local file in case you don't have connection to local file, you need to set up by go back to top topology and read the connection to customer data file as well create the logical schema. In my tutorial, I also create a file customer logical schema that connect to um, the data file in the data file folder, the customer as well. And I also feel the, uh, the file name should be customer to make sure I, I don't need to upload the uh, additional file to object storage because I am working on the customer data file. Okay. Okay.
to override the data file in case you want to rerun the package, uh, you should turn on the override flag. Yes. And next, I drop and drop the mapping and also now I the package is already to run so I click here here okay you see after we execute the package um, one arrow uh, has been spoiled because um, the object are not found in a protocol of trace storage so I go back to packages and verify and I should uh, verify the logical schema for local file customer as well and I copy and I copy the customer to station customer okay and I update the lo local file to station customer and the object storage to here okay and I, I run back it again and you see the back is still fell so I go to the error message and see that uh, the format file may be not correct because you know the data file um, the column delimiter is uh, column bar so but the package understand value CSV so I need to go back the mapping And I go to format and I select delimited. Yes. And I run again. Okay. The package um, runs successfully, so I come back the SQL developer to query data. Data is available now. Okay, thank you for your watching. If you have any issue or um, uh, error message uh, when you configure configure ODI connection screen to object storage or auto mode that will help, please uh, come back to me by comment on the video.